such an interesting book. Hmm. Such a pretty day too. Wonder if anything cool will happen later in the day. Something that will bring you closer to this nature. Hmm. What is this place? This place is nature. But it's so different. What are you talking about? This is nature at the beginning of time. It's when the sun's shining, the cattails are being cattails, and the snow's melting. This is my definition of romanticism. Isn't nature so wonderful? I mean, look at it. It's where I find myself. It's where... This is my safe place. It's so glorious. But finding faith in nature is a new idea. And so is seeing nature as not only a peaceful and beautiful thing, but also something that's powerful and evil. After examining the romantic definition of conservatism, romantics wanted to go back to the beginning when man was originally good, so they were conservative. Those on the outside looking in would argue that they were liberal because they wanted to change mostly everything about society. This poem by Lord Byron expresses the romantic belief of faith in finding oneself within nature. Peaceful Kingdom by Hicks displays a conservative view of romanticism through a nature aspect. The people seem to be so close to nature and the animals. In the background, the Europeans are just meeting the natives, symbolizing how we need to revert back to the beginning of time. Malay Spring continues this conservative view on romanticism through nature. He uses colors and detail to portray a real, pure form of society that is seemingly untouched. Okay, this is life. This is where we're going to have to live. See, true romantic liberals are going to reject all this revolution and all this industry to find what really makes us happy. Oh, like Thomas Jefferson did? Yeah! What are you guys talking about? I'm losing my identity just by being next to this industrialization. Let's go back to our nature. I think we're comfortable there. We should just not be included whatsoever with industrialization. It's something we can do In Turner's Burial at Sea, the artist used colors that differed in the center from the rest of the painting. In the center are dark ships, which are portrayed as nature burying the dead. Man believes that he can conquer nature, but nature will always be more powerful than man. In Turner's Rain, Steam, and Speed, colors are used again to show emphasis. The steam engine is darker than the rest of the painting. He is re-emphasizing that industrialization is dark and a bad idea for man. He is showing once again a conservative view by saying that nature should stay the same and not be disrupted. In this piece of art we see Luddites smashing a loom inside a factory. This is a conservative view on romanticism because the Luddites hated industry and did everything they could to get rid of it. This is the basis of my conservative romanticism belief. We have to get back to the history, get back to the good smelling books, and go back in time to our roots. But how far back would we have to go? Back to the beginning, essentially. Isn't that a little bit liberal? I mean, you're changing everything. No, not necessarily. We're just taking the old thoughts and going back to them. It's not changing anything. But it's a completely different society. I mean, we have to change some things. I don't believe so. We just go with the flow and get there. It's not really necessary to make radical decisions. In Malay's The Gleaners, there is a romanticized view of hard work praising the workers, but not realizing that machines made it easier to do the work. This was an honorable way to earn a living before the machinery existed, and is conservative because they wanted to get back to that way of life. In Lutz's Washington Crossing the Delaware, although it is a liberal painting, it displays many romantic qualities. These qualities are displayed by the land shown in the background as a lighter color, 
and the rowers using hard work without machinery while fighting for their way of life. <laughs> I can see your point of view, but it's all a matter of perspective. Mm hmm. See, romanticism is ultimately conservative, but there are some liberal aspects to it. For instance, when it comes to nature, Oh, like, I just want to go back to the basic nature and where I find myself. But there are some new ideas in nature, as in good versus evil. And when it comes to industrialization, it's stinky and I don't even want to be next to it. But our society needs to learn to live with it because it's what we need to improve. And when it comes to history, we have to go back to it and to our origins. But there are some things that you need to change. So in all in all, we're together, right? Together.